Avenida, which is a Filipino restaurant in San Mateo. Had a long day in the city. Gonna finish it off with some Filipino food. Now, this restaurant's a little different because unlike traditional Filipino places, this is more like an upscale Filipino restaurant. You know, they have the same things you would see at another menu, but higher quality ingredients, uh, cooked better. I've been told from rumors that there's possible, like it's close to getting a Michelin star. I don't know, but if it's Michelin star-esque, it's probably very good. So we're gonna order some stuff, try it. My buddy that I'm with, he's never had Filipino food before, so I'm excited to try high quality Filipino food and I'm excited to let him try it for the first time. So we're gonna order a bunch of stuff and we'll see how it is. Guys, we just got the food and oh my God, it looks so good. The first thing we got is the adobo rice and it's got like adobo seasoning. It's got fried garlic, shallots on top. Can't wait to try it. The second thing is the crispy paka. It's a big knuckle that's fried. It's gonna be delicious with some amazing sauce on the side. And of course you have to get the crispy sisig sizzling with a beautiful egg on top. And there's even more coming, but we're gonna start with this for right now. They finally brought the rest of the food. So we got the chicken skewers. And my God, guys, you can smell the charred grilled, like, like the charcoal smelling flavor of the grill on the chicken. You can smell it, it smells amazing. And then the last thing, now it should have been the first because it was an appetizer, but they brought everything at the same time, it was the lumpia. And if you guys don't know what lumpia is, they're pretty much a Filipino egg roll. But the thing that's intriguing about it is that it comes with a house-made sweet and sour sauce that they make in-house. Now I'm curious how that's gonna taste because the ones you can buy at the store are actually really good. But we're gonna see how the ones in-house taste. I'm excited, so I'm gonna make a plate and we're gonna dig in. All right, first thing I'm gonna try is the lumpia because it was our appetizer and I was supposed to be the first thing. First bite, let me just show you. Looks like pork, it is pork, but it's pork, carrot, and it's marinated, seasoned, all that. Nice and crispy, still a little hot to the touch, but I'm gonna try it just on its own, no sauce. Wow. Guys, I've had a lot of lumpia in my days. It tastes very familiar, but it tastes better, if that makes sense. Like, I've had McDonald's hamburgers, and I've been to a place that makes a hamburger that's even better, that's what this is. This is the best version of Olympia I've ever had. Now I got a second one here. I'm gonna try the house-made sauce. Give it a nice dip. And here we go. Oh man. The sweet and sour is incredible. Again, it tastes familiar to the store, but it has a little bit more of a sour taste to it. And it's very sweet. It's like not too rich, but you can taste that it's homemade. That was amazing. And right now we're just breaking the egg on the sea seed and mixing it all in. Now typically, traditionally, you would put a raw egg on top of everything and mix the raw egg into it. And then because the plate is sizzling, you would technically cook the egg with it. But the egg here already came cooked. I don't know how I feel about that, but so far everything's been good. So I have a feeling these guys know what they're doing. Now I'm gonna try the sea with some of this adobo rice. I already put some on my plate. And this adobo rice, I love the color on it. It does have the color of like the adobo, but there's little pieces of meat in there, the scallion, and then buried in there somewhere else, there's also some garlic rice. So I'm really excited to try that. All right, first thing I'm gonna try this the adobo rice on its own, just to see how it tastes.
Oh man. Oh my god. If you've never had Filipino food, you gotta have adobo. My favorite part of the adobo, obviously, is the chicken. But once you run out of chicken and you're left with all the juice at the bottom, I always like to mix rice with that. That's what this is. This is the juice of the chicken adobo. It's got that soury taste to it, the peppery mixed with meat. Oh, it's just so good. So good. Mm. All right, guys, the next thing, I'm getting some sea seed. I'm gonna put it right on my plate here. And you know that I have to mix the sea seed with the adobo rice. It's a must. So let's see how this combination tastes. Mm. Crispy, fatty. It's got that nice taste of the lemon in there. It gives it a little refreshing citrus taste. The egg, it's just perfect. Everything has been so good so far. Next thing, the chicken skewer. Now, you could really smell the char grill marks on them. There's also onion, pepper, and mushroom. So, I'm gonna try and get a chicken and a mushroom together. So let's see how it is. Oh my God. It's good. Amazing. Like I said, that charcoal grill to it, taste to it makes it so good. But they also marinate it in some sort of like, almost like teriyaki t uh, t style. Not sure what it is. It's actually a little different from the chicken skewers that I'm used to. The one I'm used to is a barbecue sauce. This is not barbecue, but it definitely has an amazing flavor to it. In hindsight, maybe I would have tried the pork because my friends never had it, but I'm happy with this. Good protein. Mm -hmm. mm. So far we've tried everything, but I want to save the best for last, and that's the crispy pata. On the menu, it says it's their best-selling item, their number one seller. So you know I have to get it. And I'm gonna grab this huge piece right here, calling my name. Oh, oh my God. All right. Oh my God, guys, it's so crispy. I don't know if you can hear this. It is so crispy and it's fatty and really good for you. My cardiologist would love to hear me eating this. But, wait, if you squeeze it, it's still juicy. Mm, we'll see. Crispy pata. I've had it before, I love it. We're gonna see how it tastes. Here we go. That's insane. It somehow stays crispy and juicy at the same time. It's salted well. Seasoned really good. I'm at a loss for words. Because I've had so much Filipino food. This might be the best Filipino food I've ever had. And I'm not saying that lightly. It was hard for me to come to that determination. But I've determined that it is the best. Now, there's a sauce that came with it. I'm gonna dip it and try it. Mm. It's like a black vinegar. The acidity helps cut down on the fat. The sourness helps with the saltiness. It's so good. I'm gonna keep eating, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Guys, as good as that dinner was, you have to end on a traditional Filipino dessert. And today, I've got here Halo Halo. Now for my Filipinos out there, you already know what this is. For my non-Filipinos who are wondering what is this concoction I'm holding? Well, let me tell you. For one, ube ice cream. And ube is like a root plant, kind of like a potato. Leche flan 
which is like, my Hispanics know what I'm talking about. Condensed milk with shaved ice, red bean, which is sweet, jello, coconut, uh, looks like some fruit. The thing with the hollow hollow, a lot of similarities, but the differences all come into what's down here in the bottom. And, well, if you guys don't know, in Filipino, halo halo actually just stands for mix mix. So they give you a nice long spoon, and your job is literally to just mix everything together and eat it. Because while things are good on their own, putting them all together tastes even better. And just an FYI, I asked the waiter, and he told me that the ube ice cream and the leche flan, they make in-house. So that fact that they do that and don't just use the store-bought stuff, I feel like it's gonna be even better. So I'm super excited to try this. So let's go ahead and do what the word suggests and let's mix, mix. So, gotta get in there. All right guys, the, uh, the waiter just gave us bowls because it's easier to mix. So I just mixed everything. And this is what it looks like. Now to be honest, it does not look that appetizing when you look at it, but it's not how it looks. It's what's on the inside that counts. Anyway, let's try it. First bite. Mm. That was incredible. It's obviously cold, but the ube ice cream is so good. You could really taste how fresh that is. Oh. I got some red bean, and it looks like this might be some jackfruit, actually. The, put the green jello. Oh, the coconut in here. It's so good, guys. You guys gotta try this if you've never had it before. It's incredible. I'm gonna have some more. Mm. Take it easy. All right. All right, guys, Avenida. Filipino food, belly stuffed, bags are full. Got lunch, dinner, breakfast for the next day or two. I recommend you guys come check it out. Best Filipino food I've ever had. That's not even an understatement. I'm not just exaggerating for the video. I mean that 100%. This Filipino food is the best in the Bay Area until I go somewhere else and maybe they can prove me wrong. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. We got one more video, gonna go to Chinatown on Saturday, and uh, yeah, but for now, I'm gonna sleep, go into a coma, and call it a day. So until next time, I'll see you later, foodies.